Eighth grade, welcome to your Christ Light tutorial. Today we're going to walk through how you're going to use this workbook each and every day in what would be our live classroom call or Zoom and how each part of those workbooks are going to work. Our first unit is titled God's Plan to Gather, Bless, and Keep His Elect, a Bible study on Ephesians. And the workbook that you should have in front of you looks exactly like this. Now, inside of your Thursday homework folder, I have this checklist printed out for you that I'd like you to go through and check off once you've understood how each of these things are going to work. You've got some questions to answer as we go. So let's do that together. Right now, you are watching this video, hopefully, that has been linked to Google Classroom, and you're following along. First thing that this worksheet asks you to do is to write your name on the outside cover, inside cover, and back of the workbook. So right here up at the top hand, right hand corner, I want you to write your name on the inside and on the back. You're probably saying, Mr. Shane, why would I need to write my name on this? It's just going to be me and this workbook at home. Well, eventually you will turn this in for a grade, so I want to make sure that it is clearly identified as you get all the credit for constantly filling out the questions and what would be the completion of this workbook. Secondly, it asks you to open up that book to your table of contents and it asks you to answer this question. How many lessons are in this unit? Well, your workbook looks somewhat like this. You're going to open it up and see that the inside matches hopefully what's on my computer screen. And you're going to open to that table of contents right here. You'll notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total sections, and we're going to call them seven lessons for our content in this workbook, even though there might be more lessons than just these seven sections. So to answer that question, how many lessons are in this unit? You would write seven in this space right here. Nice work. Next, ask you to find lesson one and what page is lesson one on? Well, the table of contents tells us that it's on page one. If you would open up to the next page, you'll probably find something that looks just like this. Our title, Love Letter from God, lesson one, and our introductory activity that is on page one. Very good. Next, we want to familiarize ourselves with the format for each question. Some prompt us to read Bible passages and other ask us to fill in the blanks or respond to open-ended questions. So if I get past what would be our introductory activity, you're going to notice that number one, number two, number three, number four, all of those questions are actually in different formats and they're going to ask us to do something different. So what's going to be really important while we're doing this in our Zoom call class is to read the instruction that it provides for us and then to do what that instruction is live together. First one asks us to fill in the blank from these different passages to correct what would be wrong in this overall description. Next, it asks us to read Acts chapter 19 verses 8 through 10 and then answer the corresponding question that's listed right here below. You'll kind of see how that works its way through each of the different questions. There's something different for us to do and then to respond and complete that appropriately together. Here's where in class, as we'd be going through this, I'd be looking for your responses or a teacher just directed, hey I, guys, I think we should write down this as our answer and you would fill in the blank or write in your response in those sections appropriately okay next it asks us in each lesson to find each key point how many key points are there in lesson one lesson one key point number one key point number two and key point number three you'll notice that each lesson has three key points those are our main takeaways from the lesson those are kind of our learning objectives for each day part of our discussion that we will hopefully get to in each day some days in some lessons we might get to two key points some days we might get through all three in one lesson and some we might go relatively slower to really dive into what it is being discussed in God's Word where we only do one of those sections in one lesson but for your answer here how many key points are there in lesson one you would say three after we discuss our key points, a key takeaway, you're going to come to this Word Today section. This is the application to your own life from our discussion in God's Word. And I want to make sure that when you're answering the questions to this discussion, you answer in complete, fill in the blank, sentences. Very good. You'll notice that this application shows up in purple right here. Nice and easy to find. It gives us a scenario and your answer to the question is going to be different from what other people might answer in the class. So here's where it's on your own. You're applying what it is that we've talked about and providing your own take, your own application to what it is that's being prompted here for us to discuss and talk about. The word today again is that application. How can we use this in our daily lives? How can we apply this and practice our faith in that way? 
The last thing that you would do on a daily basis is complete an assignment that corresponds on Google Classroom. Uh, this may be a paper assignment that gets sent home in your folders or it might be digitally based as a part of the lesson that would probably be posted somewhere right here and also in the weekly checklist the appropriate column for Monday and Wednesday morning for you to take care of whether it's a paper assignment or it's linked right here online. Hope that helps your understanding of what Christ Light's going to look like. I'd like you to answer all four of those questions and put that right back into the Thursday folder so that it can be turned in next week. Make sure you write your name and today's date up here as well. And lastly, what I'd like you to write down is your overall number. Now I've shared with each and every one of you what your number is based on just the alphabetical order of our class. So your name goes here, today's date, and then I want to put your number right up in this corner. That's going to help Mr. Shane keep things nice and neat and organized when it comes to correcting and collecting those papers. Thank you.